dear students today we will be solving ib math a hl may 2021 paper 1 time zone 1 question 5 and as you know you will be getting the links to the previous questions in the description area so without any further delay let us start with our today's session we will be solving question number 5 and it contains 8 mark it contains two sub parts a and b sub part a says show that sin 2x plus cos 2x minus 1 equal to 2 times sin x times cos x minus sin x okay we have to prove this identity therefore the part a now if we see the right hand side we see if we expand the right hand side we see the first term will be 2 sin x cos x which is sin 2x but what about these two so if we expand this one if we multiply 2 sin x with minus sin x we will be getting negative 2 sin square x so cos 2x can be expressed in the form of cos square x minus sin x cos 2x equal to cos square x minus sin square x or cos 2x equal to 2 cos square x minus 1 or cos 2x equal to 1 minus 2 sin square x if you do not remember these formulas then please do refer to your formula booklet okay and we will be using this formula cos 2x the double angle identity cos 2x equal to 1 minus 2 sin square x because on the left right hand side we are having negative 2 sin square x we are having negative 2 sin square x in this identity okay so sin 2x can be written as 2 sin x cos x or let me first of all write this is equal to the left hand side you can write the entire expression as well i'm writing the left hand side is equal to in place of sin 2x i am writing 2 sin x cos x in place of cos 2x i'll be writing this one minus 2 sin square x and minus 1 and this plus 1 and minus 1 will be cancelling each other so we have 2 sin x cos x minus 2 sin square x so we can take 2 sin x common so we have cos x from the first term and minus sin x from the second term within the brackets which is our right hand side okay sub part b hence or otherwise solve sin 2x hence or otherwise means you can take the help of the first sub part or you can solve it by some other method as well if you are given hence or otherwise you have the option of get taking or using some other method but if it is given only hence then you have to use the first sub part in order to solve this sub part okay so sin solve sin 2x plus cos 2x minus 1 plus cos x minus sin x equal to 0 where x is ranging between 0 and 2 pi 0 and 2 pi are not included this contains 6 marks okay okay so in place of let us first of all write the equation sin 2x plus cos 2x minus 1 plus cos x minus sin x equal to 0 and for this part this is the left hand side of the sub part a we will be writing the right hand side of sub part b so 
in place of sine two x plus cos two x minus one, we write this to be equal to two sine x. cos six minus sine x and this is also cos six minus sine x. So let me write this as plus one. I wanted to just keep these two terms within a bracket. So I have written plus one before cos six minus sine x. equal to zero okay and this is equal to cos x minus sin x and 2 sin x plus 1 equal to zero okay because cos x minus sin x times 2 sin x plus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, either cos x minus sin x will be equal to 0 or 2 sin x plus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, if cos x minus sin x is equal to 0, this implies cos x is equal to sin x and dividing both the sides by cos x we get cos x over cos x is 1 and sin x over cos x is 10 x. So 1 equal to 10 x or I can rewrite this equation in this form 10 x equal to 1. And tan x is positive in the first and the third quadrant. We have seen the domain of x to be covering all the four quadrants. The 0 and the 2 pi, they are not included, but it is covering all the four quadrants. So tan x can be any value from the first quadrant, uh, rather x can be any value from the first quadrant, and it can be a value from the third quadrant. From the first quadrant, the x value will be obviously equal to pi by 4 or 45 degrees. So we get one of the x values as pi by 4. And what is the third quadrant value of x? It will be pi plus pi by 4 because the third quadrant expression is pi plus the theta, the acute angle. So pi plus pi by 4, which gives us the x values as pi by 4 and 5 pi by 4. And now we come to this part. 2 sin x plus 1 equal to 0. Or if Two sin x plus one equal to zero, then sin x will be equal to negative half. Sin x is negative. That means x is from the x is an angle from the third quadrant or from the fourth quadrant. It is a third quadrant angle or it is a fourth quadrant angle. First, but first of all, let us get the first quadrant angle, the acute angle. For that, we find, let's find theta be equal to half. We ignore the minus sign and we take the positive value to get the first quadrant angle. Sine theta equal to half implies theta equal to pi by 6. 30 degrees. Sin 30 degrees equal to half. Now we have to get the third quadrant angle and the fourth quadrant angle. So x will be equal to third quadrant angle will be pi plus the first quadrant angle that is pi by 6 or 
the fourth quadrant angle, which will be 2 pi minus pi by 6. So x is pi plus pi by 6 is 7 pi by 6. And 2 pi minus pi by 6, 2 pi is 12 pi over 2, oh, sorry, 12 pi over 6. So 12 pi over 6 minus pi over 6 is 11 pi over 6. Therefore, we are getting two values of x from this part and two values of x from this part. Therefore, x is having, x can have any of these four possible values. x equal to pi by 4, 5 pi by 4. Let me write it over here. x equal to pi by 4. 5 pi by 4, 7 pi by 6, and 11 pi by 6. So, yeah, we have completed the question number five totally. Thank you for staying with me till the end. And we meet again tomorrow with question number six of the same paper. Till then, bye.